appears to be going very fast. Yeah. Oh, this is the board level. You, you're gonna like it. I Not bored as in bored as in boring. Network Coast. It's a very Sonic S soundtrack. Exactly. What is it, jump? Um, it is the um, south button. The green button. S a south. A. I've used so many different controllers, it's difficult for me to know. Oh yeah, uh, the enemies start getting a little more serious. Yeah, you give me but the you controller this time. You've got it. Ugh. Yeah, look at loop. <laughs> People love loops. I love that shit. How do you how do you charge? I wasn't paying attention to anything. Um, you just hold the attack button. Oh, I see. Come here, man. I can see the future. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, it's just an enjoyable little game. It, it doesn't try to be too pretentious. It's just a fun little, you know, Sonic-esque romp. Ugh. Barely got out of there. Oh, now I'm in water. It's wonderful. If you find yourself on a hill that you have trouble climbing, you can use the dash. It's the same as using the spin dash, but you don't have to stop moving, which is nice. And because you have a wall jump, uh, bottomless pits are never instant death as long as you Ow. react. Which I find to be a strength of this game. I know not where I go. I just go. There's right. Only, there's only one direction. All you have to do is go right. But, yeah. <laughs> I've never pretended like this is like one of the magnum opus games. One of the greatest things ever created. Ooh, that thing is actually one of the greatest Samurai things ever sword? created. Hold on a second. Shadow, edgy jester. <laughs> if you hold his charge button, will you give? Yeah, give him. Yeah, yeah, give me a second to actually do it. Maybe. Yeah. If you hold his charge button, you can walk on walls. I am knuckles. Actually, yeah. No, there's your knuckles. He kind of just becomes all of Sonic's characters. Oh, hold the charge button. Well, boss time. Okay, do you hear that little wah and the eye thing? Right before anyone attacks, it's always got that, like, cue. Nothing will attack you without their eye flashing or them making a wah sound. Very Mega Man, but now. Yes, which is nice. I at least know that from Mega Man. Oh, and if you want to switch to your old power, you can press Y. Once that goes fully charged, your Kamehameha will be monstrous. The trick, though, is you got to charge it without getting hit. But you almost got it. Fuck my life. Ta-da! Congrats, you're now king of the pirates. Uh, Gaio Gaio and all that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't, I've never watched Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did not expect that to do that. Oh, Jesus, hello. I'm dead. Womp <laughs> womp. Don't worry, I've seen that a lot. Like, a lot. But it's a very forgiving game. Challenging, yes. Forgiving, also. Which is nice. Eh, every game doesn't have to be Dark Souls. Well, oh, every game must when be I Dark say Souls. Dark Souls, I really mean Bloodborne. But, you know. Maybe you just weren't good enough at that game to, to beat it, you know? I'll be the first to admit that... Ow. Yes, entirely possible. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I shouldn't have to be good enough to enjoy a game. Maybe there should be an easy mode. Never. That's for casuals. Difficulty settings are for casuals. Casuals should go play. Oh, uh, pretty much every enemy you kill will give you a health drop. I know. Play the game. <sighs> okay. I get the gist of it. I understand what I'm doing. But also, I'm not good at platformers. Dude, I'm not even good at Sonic. I thought you were a Sonic guy. Uh, okay, let's see what Sonic... Let me just see what Sonic games i played. Uh, Sonic 1, 2, and 3... Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast. I haven't even played Sonic Racing. Well, that's a good pedigree already. Uh, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. 
Sonic 06. And then, uh, then it wasn't, then it wasn't until Generations, and then after Generations, Frontiers. Wow, really? I haven't played any of that Werehog nonsense or any of that. You've, um, no offense, but you've missed out on quite a few Sonic titles. Yeah, I know, Sonic Colors or something like that. Eh, I find Sonic Colors to be somewhat overrated. Not a bad game, but I feel like its relevance is mostly that it did boost gameplay well before anything else did. And that's kind of the whole shtick. Also, Edgy Jester is the best. I mean, it's not like literally the best, but it's, it's super Look, fun. Look, I don't care if he likes getting edged. That's that's his own preference, all right? We don't have to bring that in here. What the fuck? What? Oh, that's the ice one. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting that power up. You will be if you walk into it like an idiot. I typically prefer edgy. I mean, I, got a question. Edgy. I have a question. How long is this game? Not that long. Okay, I didn't think so. Now, once you start playing all the additional modes, it can get a little longer. But the just original campaign, not not too much. Hey there, buddy. Does that do continuous damage if it hits them? Uh, yes. If it yeah. sticks in them, yes. That's what I'm talking about. If it hits them. Well, no, there's a jet in not. the background that's just blinking at you and not really doing anything. He's trying his best. <laughs> Whoa. Hey there, bud. What the hell is this thing? It's a gun. It has a gun. It looks like a dog. And it's dead. Okay. So, when this game came out, I 100%ed it immediately, including all of the hardest combat challenges, because I fell in love with the way the game feels. Yeah, so, no, you wouldn't stop talking about as it. I get a little more... Is that a snowboard? Yep. As I get a little more experienced, you'll probably see me do a little better. Jesus I, uh, Christ. mostly just kind of forgot how to play the game earlier. Yeah, that's what he also says whenever we play games together, and he's like, yeah, I, just, I don't know how to play this game anymore. I'm going to suck at you guys. going to whoop my ass. And then, like, five minutes in, he's decimating people. Hey, shouldn't you be dead since, you know, that was an electric pylon under the water? Um, he's an electrical engineer. He can control electricity. He's not super vulnerable to electricity. That doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. The Jester hat actually protects him from electricity. And it's, believe it or not, a major plot point later. It's also a major plot point in the, um, I think it's roughly about 40 pages at this point, fan fiction that I wrote. What? Oh, yes. I need you to understand. I fucking stand this shit. The plot gets much better than what you've seen. Ow. Let me try not getting hit. <laughs> there we go. The Googles? Yes. Scorf? Oh, it's wind. Oh, I got excited. It's going to be something cool and awesome. It is. The hell? You can really start playing with the physics once you get the Winchester. The Wester. Albert Winchester. There we go. Chat of Doom. I'm kind of a high mobility jester player. I like movement. Is there options. anything else to be in this game? Yes. Where it's 2D and you're, it's a platformer and you're moving a lot? And there's a boss every minute? Yeah. Yes. Well, I, yeah, yeah. 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 Is there a different way to play other than just being mobile? Um, you can go mobility plus a decent, like, offensive jester. Um, but I tend to go mobility plus mobility. Okay, since you've spent the entire... Ta-da. <laughs> since you spent most of, this, most of this absolutely glazing this game, can, why, why, don't you, why don't you give yes. some, oh, some, some, some negatives about uh, Spork, the fucking whatever the hell. The artwork is rough. And the original plot is also rough. It's a 2D game. I don't think the artwork has to be. I don't think the artwork has to be great. Mm, most of I the time, per, I think it's perfectly serviceable. I, uh, same. I mean, to be fair, there aren't many negatives. The gameplay is butter smooth. There's nothing to hate in the way that it controls, because it controls terrifically. And if you don't like the controls, play a different jester type. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not even kidding. No, I, I, I wasn't scoffing at you. I was scoffing at the 
<laughs> you killed one thing and it immediately just throws another one out there. I know. do feel... And then you eat a beam immediately. How dare. The combat is good and fair. I love that part. Um, the artwork is a little rough and the story is more than a little rough. But to be fair, Lake Feppard never pretended to be a brilliant writer in the first one. I do believe with what he evolves the plot into, it elevates the story into something meaningful. Me personally. That was gone with that battleship in the background. What's, he, what's his plan? Well, if I stay underneath this guy, the battleship shoots him down. Well, didn't you already kill him? Ta-da. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Ta-da. I thought he was giving you the finger. <laughs> Only the thumbs up. I will say also, even though it's a little hokey to have... I love Smog Sewer. So, again, the beautiful part about this game is I can't help but feel like it was designed in level order. So, as the levels progress, they get better. Or maybe I just get more used to it. One of the two. It could be any of them. I don't know if I'd want to be getting up in the water tubes and the smog sewer. You no, know, you probably don't. It took me a little while to realize that this is also a place in Spark 2, but I didn't recognize it until just now. I don't know. I don't want magic. Going after all the extra content. Spark 2 was actually when the series blew up because Spark 2 is so Sonic 2 and uh, Sonic Adventure 2 inspired it is almost impossible for people to not call it a rip off even the menus look almost identical okay but so the gameplay is really crisp the third one is where it becomes unique um, in 3D anyway You stop yawning. Are you falling asleep on me over there? I'm just tired in general. Yeah. I get that. So what happens when you reach near 30? Mm, we're old people now. Oh, trust me, my coworker reminds me often. I keep watching YouTube video essay people um, because we have a new crop of those, of course. And I watch their stuff, and they have all of these terrifically well-edited channels and all of these retrospectives about all of this stuff I care about. And they're like, I wasn't alive for this game that came out in 2006, but I found it when I was older. And I'm like, you, you weren't what? You weren't... Ex you weren't alive. All right, well, imagine being, imagine, be, imagine being me and having to check IDs for people buying cigarettes, and they say, yeah, my birthday's 2004. I'm like, excuse me? Yeah, right. Yeah, it hurt me when my baby brother could legally buy cigarettes. All of a sudden, I felt the gray hairs come on. Okay. Where are we going, bud? Hell. But aside from that, Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. I did try to cheese him by sitting on the wall. Do a better job. Working on it. Are you? Yeah. Well, these little spikes are somewhat difficult to not run into. It's, it's tricky stuff. And this is kind of what I love about it. It does Sonic boss fights in a very interesting way. They almost can't even be called Sonic boss fights. They're more like Mega Man boss fights. Fuck. Oof. I'm getting my ass handed to me. I agree. This is what happens when you select two mobility powers. Well, then you shouldn't be getting your ass kicked. You should be dodging all this shit. Well, yes, if I was good. There we go. <sighs> Local man says he 100% in game. Beat the ever-loving shit out of it. Local oh, man did. also somehow says he is not good at game. 
Oh, I keep forgetting. Maybe I can break that thing? I don't remember. Hey, come can you here. like, slap one of the needles? Yeah, you can. Most projectiles can be countered some way or another. You mean parried? Uh, yes. Can't believe that. Wow. Freak. Can't believe you really you really died. Well, I hit. You really died hit, when he had that much health. I hit the panic button. You really died when he had that much health. I hit the you, panic you disappoint button. Disappoint me yet again. I hit the panic button. Don't hit the panic button. Hit the, you know. I think I'm going the wrong way. Hey, look at you. Don't yeah, I am going the wrong way. He doesn't even know. He, he wanted to play this game. He doesn't even know how to play it. I actually wanted you to play it. Well, that would be worse. <laughs> Because then I definitely wouldn't know where to go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. All There's right, a ghost buddy. in the corner. All right, don't take any damage. Okay. All right. You heard it here first. He's not going to take any damage. You're going to find this actually kind of funny. He took damage. But there actually is a challenge mode where you can't take a single hit. And I beat that a long time ago. Well, like 16 years ago? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Not really. It, it's, it Why isn't... is this guy the most difficult task so far? When, I mean, he's well, pretty basic. Because I need more than just edgy and wind. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is he going up there and he's making that thing spin faster? <laughs> kind of what it looks like he's doing, but I don't think he is. I think I'm... Oh. You think you're what? I, I was about to say, I think I'm good if I sit here. Mm. It, it was a ruse. A, 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 a trick. Maybe hmm. don't go over on the side where he's going to re-emerge from. He doesn't always re-emerge from the same side. And I need to be able to jump him. He's a quick man. He's not a man at all. He's a, he's a robot. Or is he? He kind of looks like, uh, what's that one Pokemon in the new generation that's like a phalanx? Oh, a uh, phalanx. Yeah, he kind of looks like that, like the little guys in the, that make up that. Yeah, um, most of the robots uh, are built on that kind of, like, visual imagery. And um, kind of works. So I guess killing the spinny thing is out of the cards, then, huh? Well, it may be, but jump off the in wall. the cards. But jump I'm up and jump off the wall. Shoot, wow. He parried you. There is a way to parry, but I can't for the life of me remember how to do it. Maybe don't. You have no health. I don't know how you're alive. Theoretically, you should be drowning right now. There you go. Well, see, that's actually the beautiful thing about electricity. You can actually use electricity. Can you go somewhere else and can you go somewhere and get a different power that will help you? Actually, yes. 